are you a beginner to Terra de Marseille and looking for your first deck? Or perhaps you are an experienced Terra de Marseille reader and are after a fresh new deck to add to your Terra de Marseille collection. Or you might simply be just curious about Terra de Marseille decks that are available mass market at the moment. If you know that yes to one of those questions, this video may be for you, as today I will be sharing with you mass market Terra de Marseille decks I love and recommend to beginners and to seasoned readers. Hello friends, Masha here, welcome to my channel. I'm coming to you today to share with you the mass market Terra de Marseille decks that I have in my collection, which I love and which I would recommend to novices to Terra de Marseille, but also to those who learn, who are learning and who read with Terra de Marseille. Of course, as always, when it comes to deck recommendations, regardless of the lineage of tarot that we prefer, it's, it's always, of course, the best to choose a deck that you can learn from, but also that you love aesthetically and that ultimately you will use. But still, I hope with the decks I have prepared for you for today's video, those decks will be to your liking. So I have nine decks all together to show you, with five of them being the ones I would primarily recommend to beginners due to the cards being of classic appearance but also with clean lines and fresh colors with the remaining four decks of Terra de Marseille style, which of course I like a lot as well, and am including in this video as those remaining four decks would possibly appeal to you if you are looking for more variety in your cards, from older looking cards to quirky contemporary Marseille style decks. And yes, all the Marseille Terrors featured in this video are available mass market and are listed for your convenience in the description of this video below, along with the links where you can access them. I, I also need to know that all the Terrors I'm featuring have crossed batons and curved swords as per classical Terra de Marseille canon. So no, no peep style non Terra de Marseille decks are featured here at all, right? Only Terra de Marseille style decks. Okay, let us begin with my first Terra de Marseille deck ever. And that is CBD Terra de Marseille. CBD Terra was my first Terra de Marseille deck. And if you want to try it out, you can also print your own copy. Uh, through uh, which is still available on CBD Terra website for free for personal use and I did link the website as well for you below and I did just that back in 2016 CBD Terra was the first Terra de Marseille that I discovered and firstly I print my my own deck on my home printer to have the images and then I ordered my proper proper copy CBD Terra, well, CBD stands for Conver Bendov Terra, was uh, produced by the late Yov Bendov, hence BD name, and is re envisioning of the historic Nicolas Conver Terra de Marseille from 1760, hence. C, Conver, BD, Band of Terra de Marseille. So as you can see, uh, it's a cleaned out version with crisp, sharp line work and white backgrounds. And then of course, classic Terra de Marseille colors. 
so my size may be a little bit smaller it's available mass market of course and some featuring it here right but my copy was directly from your band of was printed a little earlier so my cards may be a little bit narrower I will I just use the standard zero size card to show you the most of the dogs that I'm featuring, if not all of them, they're slightly smaller in width, some in height when compared to a classic zero sized card. So this one is CBD Terra de Marseille, which will always be my recommendation and remains one of my favorite terrors. Next one. Next um, DAG that I would like to show you is Tarot de Marseille Edition Millennium and this Tarot is the newest addition to my Tarot library, to my Tarot collection and this DAG is done by French publisher, so you can see a nice two-part box here, so that's the French publisher editions uh, trajectory. And this tarot is absolutely delightful in my view. Now, a tarot de Marseille Millennium, here we do see the creator Wilfried Houdon. So it was created by Wilfried Houdon, who has a great knowledge of Marseille tarot canon. And Wilfried himself, he studied and he practiced tarot for over 30 years from from my knowledge. Let's have a look at the beautiful colors in this dark, the brightness of it, the freshness of it. So Wilfred uh, is also a graphic designer and uh, created these cards with the inclusion of sacred geometry, which I myself yet to learn more about. But what I can say is that the symmetries we see in the cards in this tarot, in this particular tarot, are wonderful. So initially, Terra de Marseille Millennium was published by, actually by Terra de Marseille Heritage. And if you know your Terra de Marseille, you know Terra de Marseille Heritage is co-created and run by Yves Renoir and by Wilfred Houdon. So, um, but now it's published mass market by a French publisher. So as you can see, the cards background, they're slightly, slightly off white and why I'm stopping in the sun card is um, that because um, I personally see the historic Pierre Modernier terror being an inspiration and possibly an influence for Terror de Marseille edition Millennium. And it really is good. It's a very good Terror de Marseille to have, whether you are a beginner to Marseille Terror or a student of this lineage or an experienced reader of uh, Terror de Marseille. So yeah, you can see the backgrounds of the cards are slightly off white and uh, the, the card stock is set in hence probably you see the light glare but this, the card stock is really really good i when it comes to colors i especially love here the blues and the greens in this deck and what it does, it does excite me that this Terra de Marseille is done superbly when it comes to the quality of the cards, the quality of the production, the colors in the cards, the packaging, that this durable box and even this black satin bag that was included with the cards. Yeah, the booklet is in French but look these days google translate does a decent job when translation is required and once again just to give you the card comparison and for you to see the backs of the card so that's what we have we do have the card that is narrower but slightly bit taller than than what is accepted these days when it comes to mass market decks as the standard tarot cards. Moving on, next deck that I have to 
uh, that I have here to share with you is published by Italian publisher Los Carabio and this is a Marseille vintage Terra. Now this also I think this one was published last year 2022 where uh, this tarot the previous mentioned tarot the Marseille edition millennium is uh, the deck that was published mass market only this year only I think February or March it was this year so Marseille Vintage Terror by Los Carabio. Again, sturdy, great quality, two part box. And um, the cards. So, again, just a quick size comparison for you to see for yourself. Pretty much the same height, slightly narrower. And of course, here you see the backing of the cards so marseille vintage terror was well, gonna be 2022 clearly we see that here and uh, this terror is a redrawing a redrawing of classic nicolas convert terror de marseille of uh, 1760 and as you can see what's added here is the vintage light like look uh, vintage like look is added to this card and what what is nice is that vintage filtering I'll just bring the cards a little bit closer so you can see that vintage filtering differs from card to card which is i think for a mass market deck it's a really great touch it's almost like kind of we see tea light coffee stains right aging of the cards and that's what we see in this deck so again, the line work is very crisp and clear. The colors, I think, the colors are very pleasing. And uh, and the images themselves, the redrawings are quite lovely, making, actually making this Marseille Vintage Terra one of my favorite out of Los Carabia decks. And Los Carabia, of course, is, is a popular publisher of mass market decks. But also what adds um, to this deck that yes, Chris Blinds, Nicholas Conver based terror, but adding that vintage filtering, which may be preferable to some the cardstock. The cardstock is thin, but as you can see, very, very flexible, which, which I love when it comes to my cards. Next, next one is this tarot, Le Tarot de Marseille, bigger box, but the cards are nicely sized. So this is the reproduction, another deck by a French mass market publisher, Grancha. I don't know if it's a new publisher, it's the first and the only deck that I have from this publisher, but it is mass market, it is available online, it is linked for you that I bought it off Amazon. So this is the reproduction actually of the 1930s infamous Paul Marteau's terror known as 1930 Grimoire with, as you will see, very pleasing, close to original colors. So that's the box, right? So you can see the box is very larger than the cards. I'll just pull the cards for you. And um, yes, um, this tarot is a great option. It's a great deck, I think. Even They, they even use the bags that are the bags. I did check um, the link in the National Library of France where the original one of the original 1930s Paul Marteau's Grimaud's deck is kept and we do see still the copyright of Grimaud although it's published by um, Grincha, by a different publishing company. I don't know if they're affiliated. Um, now, this title was recommended to me. And uh, while I bought it, I actually bought it primarily for the book written by Colette Sylvester to translate. So that's the booklet. I started reading a little bit. I'm enjoying it. But again, it's a slow process because I'm using Google Translate. But uh, this deck has become an immediate favorite. Off-white background, very nice colors. And these colors are... Uh, yeah, very, very close to the original, what I've seen online, to the original of the 1930 classic Grimoire Terror. And, um, yeah, an immediate favorite for me. 
because I don't find any faults, any fault with this dog. It's just an absolute delight. Blue hair on the star, iconic to the stero, Fleur de Lis, I in the four of coins. And just to once again give you a quick card comparison size, the same height and Negawa. As we do see, it's uh, a pattern in Terra de Marseille dogs being tallish and a narrow one. Absolutely love this one. And then another dog that I would recommend and I love is the Spanish Terror. It's a wonderful Terror and uh, it's uh, produced by Fournier, Spanish, Spanish publisher in a tag box. And uh, Spanish terror, maybe especially the the bags, and these cards are a little smaller or much smaller, as you can see, compared to the previous Marseille dogs that I just showed you, and compared to the uh, standard card sized one. So yes, um, this terror, Spanish terror, may be especially appealing to you if you like brighter colors, if you love to see a lot of colors, if you don't like striking back uh, white background. So again, they're slightly off white in this deck. And uh, if you love to see a lot of color in your cards, and also if you prefer to, um, to have slightly smaller in size cards. So we see the cards titles again, if it doesn't bother you, we have two languages here. In the previous ones, also, of course, you saw the, the French titles only, where in here we see the title of the majors in English and in Spanish. Uh, but also why? The Stero is also actually a reproduction of a historic Ligurian Piedmontese Stero, which originally was published, uh, published around 1736. So we're looking at the 18th century Stero that was reproduced by the mass market publisher in uh, Fournier. Really lovely, wonderful option for Tierra de Marseille. So these are the five mass market decks I would recommend to you first, but then we have um, the Piatnik Tierra. Piatnik because of the publisher, right? Piatnik is the Austrian publisher. Now, while this one comes in a tag box. While I personally would uh, recommend the previous five dogs for um, to the beginners to Tierra de Marseille, that is to say the previous dogs, as you can see, with clean line work. I also do love facsimile reproductions, uh, and I do like a few facsimile older looking Tierra de Marseille dogs, and that is where Piatnik Tierra fits in. So known as Piatnik Tierra, as it's published by Piatnik Company, you can see the colors are really lovely. The background are more kind of creamy, older looking background. But this tarot uh, is a facsimile printing, a facsimile reproduction of uh, the tarot tarot Renan, uh, which is known as tarot Renan, originally produced um, uh, in the 18th century by German card maker. And we can see here Ignaz Krebs of uh, of Freiburg, right? So again, it's, it's a facsimile of a historic dog, but as you can see, the lines are not crisp and we do see a lot of bleeding that was kept, well, I mean, of course, with, with the facsimile copy, the moon is very Swiss looking, but we're not covering that, we don't, we're not covering type one or type two, but most of the dogs actually, well, the ones that I featured, they are, they fit into type two, Terra de Marseille category, this one is a kind of a hybrid, but um, it's a nice dog, I think, to have in a collection, and if you are after a very old looking dog that you would see in a museum, that maybe, I love the playing card here, uh, this uh, Tiero, Piatnik Tiero, that would 
or is googleable by but zero or none may be a great option for you the cardstock is quite waxy which is really to me it's really nice but all of the ducks i mean i'm featuring the ducks that i really love so the cardstock i do love in in all of them and uh, that's the size so this one is probably the closest to the standard zero size so that's the piatnik zero then i have golden zero of marseille for you once again this zero is based on uh, on a historic claude burdell from 1751 but in no way i don't consider it reproduction at all it's just based on the images right this one is by los carabia and it's called golden zero of marseille well because it's printed using golden foiling they are um, the the backs are quite like the backs in this zero and uh I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter than my usual video, so that's the size comparison. But if you do, I actually do have quite a few walkthroughs of, uh, I have a walkthrough of this deck for sure. But anyways, if you want a separate walkthrough of, um, of either of the decks that I'm featuring here, please let me know. I also do have a few posts on Instagram as well featuring a couple of those uh, decks that I'm uh, featuring, but it's really beautiful. I love it. It's really fun. It's a really fun deck to use, and I love actually using it reading for others, especially in the evening. But also, look, if you this uh, this lasts for decks, right? I just to give you a little bit of variety of what's available when it comes to mass market Marseille terrace. And if you love your spark sparkly things, your shiny terrors, this could be a, uh, a another option. Again, French titles are featured in these cards. It's a joy to have. Right, two more left. And um, Terro de Maria Celia is our next one. This makes a great great travel zero the cards are smaller the cards are actually even smaller than a playing card you can see it is much smaller yes uh it's a fun little zero de marseille and playing on uh, playing on the words zero zero de marseille zero de Maria Celia. This tero was created by uh, artist Linear, uh, Linear Jim Nars Narciso. One of the obvious characteristics of this tero are the disproportionately bigger heads of the characters when compared to the size of their bodies. And the colors, uh, the colors are nice here. And we see now beautiful purples in these cards. They they again made in the kind of vintage, older looking style, right? With this aging effect. And uh, we do see even in some of the cards, the adorable, adorable stars. Which is a sweet addition, I think, to this tiara. I'm talking about the great addition the inclusion of the tin is a great bonus too when it comes to tiro of the maria celia this is okay most of my friends actually who read with tiro de marseille absolutely love this pocket sized deck and uh, and they tell me my friends tell me that is actually this tarot de marseille have become has become their travel tarot de marseille and the deck that they keep in um in their bags and the last tarot deck that i have to share with you is squid cake Marseille Tiro by Jess Rolla and published by Rockpool Publishing. It comes again in a sturdy, great two part box. You can see the inside of the box. 
engage your creativity and be inspired to think outside the box it's really cool the box is adorable as well right but yeah squid cake marseille tarot by jazz by jazz roller is a contemporary sweet and quirky little tarot deck in my view the patterns of the peeps are really nice and in line with uh what we are used to in tarot de marseille and of course you can see these tarot features a delicious soft color palette while of course deviating right a more contemporary version while this is the queen of cups while deviating from uh, well from traditional tarot de marseille imagery when it comes to uh, to the uh, well when it comes to the color palette when it comes to the directionality of the characters here the depictions right so we see here more octopus taking onto the leg of the fool and the titles are in uh, in english the figures are more sort of contemporary dressed the illustration the the art style is more illustrative style but we do see in this dark kind of different creatures opposed to yes yeah, so we see knights especially we see Again, part of the octopus, I think <laughs> the knight is riding, so we don't see horses here. But despite of that, despite of this deck being different, it's uh, this little tiara. I think it's fun. I think it's look at the pets. I think it's joyful. I think it's light-hearted. It has sweetness yet cute humor. It's it has enough amount enough amounts of quirks and it's soft look at this beautiful soft pink the cards are only small so they are, you're looking at about playing card size with very rounded corners which i think are very very suitable to this deck and also the little booklet actually little guidebook is quite a gem also written by jess rolla who studied Tierra de marseille and um, also where the guidebook shines that keywords here yeah, you're given keywords but also you're given the function of the cards of the major arcana that's that's a really great addition right adding the function and also um this tarot well this tarot was originally published independently but then rockpool publishing picked it up and deservedly so making this tarot very accessible and actually one of the cheapest tarots that i actually own it's priced uh, under 20 australian dollars right which makes it under 15 us dollars if US dollars are your currency and then it's a great option if you love a little bit of quirkiness if you love a little bit of humor in your darks if you're partial to softer colors especially softer pinks and also it may be a great first Tierra de Marseille deck for a child well I'm an adult and I love it <laughs> But also, I think this tarot makes a really great, sweet um, gift to, to tarot lovers. I hope so much you enjoyed seeing another mass market tarot de Marseille decks that I have just shared with you and which I would recommend to the beginners to tarot de Marseille and to experienced Marseille tarot readers. If you were to ask me right now which three out of all those decks are at the very top of my list, I am very happy to share with you that my first ever Terra de Marseille deck would still be on the list, along with, surprisingly, but happy happy good surprise with these two my newest decks from french uh french publishers from french publishers on the mass market when it comes to terror so yeah my top three mass market terror de marseille decks are those three in those three terrors is where it's all for me they are at right now
please let me know which of the decks of mine you have found appealing to your taste and to your aesthetics and also which of those decks are not quiet to your personal liking i would love to hear from you or maybe you already have a few of the decks that i featured in this video so if you don't mind i would be so grateful if you could share what your experience with those decks have been we can learn from each other thank you so much for watching this video sending much love to you all until next time